Let's do Rex, actually. I'm in the mood. I love being Scrapper Rex. It's too powerful. Um, that is definitely like a problem solver. But hey. What's up, Togi? When I find you on Twitch, and I was wondering why I never get notifications for the stream. Twitch is uh, notably pretty bad at giving dis uh, notifications anyway, so I recommend joining Discord if you want some extra notifications. My first E8 attempt soon, I'm gonna focus here and see how you deal with damage mitigation out of Eclipse context. I'll tell you a secret. It's the biggest secret of all time. You walk in a circle. That's it. That and uh, target priority. Where's my favorite character, either him or Captain? That's pretty rare, I think. Most people just frankly do not like Rex at all. Most people are scared of Rex. They create this like self-fulfilling prophecy where it's like, uh-oh, it's Rex, I'm gonna lose. It's really not that bad. It's all in your head, I promise. Favorite plant? I mean, it's pretty specific. Yeah, Rex is my favorite plant-robot hybrid character in this game. The other plant-robot character hybrids just don't really stack up. Mocha printer. I don't need way more speed than that. I don't want to choose any one of these yet. Why did I pick that up? Get rid of that for a mocha, like the worst thing in the world either. Can't tell yet. Alright, we can probably just get a syringe and uh AP round and we're gonna Not a bad first stage. I mean also have the Crunder if we uh I feel like we're lacking a little bit of damage, so. Turn multi shots with card are so good. The other day I had a run where I forgot to bring card to stage 5. Because I picked up the rockets that she's LA and there were like 20 multi shots. Yeah, the, the crazy thing about multi shots too is like obviously when you start getting to stage 4, they're all green. <laughs> so they're all very powerful. Rex OP, in my opinion, the worst are melee champions. Uh, the melee characters in this game are actually the most powerful. Like, Loader is, uh, yeah, you know. Where he's powerful, I mean, he's good, but I didn't notice he was really powerful as either survivors. Are you using Eviscerate? Eviscerate makes, uh, Merc hit like a wet noodle. Once you start getting really good with, uh, Slice and stuff, it gets better, but... The thing is, because he has so much mobility, he gets less damage, right? That's like the balance. I mean, look at Huntress, right? She's she's pretty like physically weak, but she has like some of the best dodging in the game. And Merc is no different. It's like the versatility of having both that makes him so powerful too. So much more fun, in my opinion. This raid is kind of fun. I like how it scales with items and stuff. But I will never recommend it to someone uh, who's looking for advice on Merc either. We get that a lot though, a lot of people question why Huntress is so weak, it's like, well, because you don't need movement speed or anything or mobility, you're good. She's the most powerful character in that regard, so. Kind of a sort of way easier to win on, but I know I'm wrong. It doesn't mean you're wrong, it's just like, that's your experience, right? In the future, once you start, you know, getting better with slicing wins, you start to get to the point where you're like, okay. <laughs> Alright, I felt the same way when I first unlocked slicing wins, also, like, I was like, I was like, dude, Slice and Wind seems really cool, but I'm too bad to use it. Like, the first time I got it, I was like, there's no way. I just used a little bit more, and I was very happy with it. Okay, we got some Void Cradle stuff, which I'm always down for. I need the gas. Thank you. Do you have tutorials on how to do all the Prismatic Trials for the Merc Achievement? Yes. So if you're ever looking to get Slice and Winds, look up Cabbage on YouTube. That's your, that's your guy. You know what I... <laughs> I wish a lot of like the push effects in this game actually were able to push enemies a little bit more. A band. Honestly, the AoE is the, the biggest thing for us right now. Gimme. Yum. Reason to push them, there wouldn't be a starter challenge for Rex. I mean, I think there would be still. I think it's kind of like a cool thing. Although the Doom starter challenge for Rex is not too bad. It's got to get a good angle. Hopefully we don't get double boss here. I took my time, but we did not. Good job. Just for the orb for fire. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. Don't don't hit me, dude. Nice. 
Do you think it's worth practicing with Rex's non damaging M2 before E8? No. Here's why. By the time you get to E8, I don't feel like most players really turn back. I don't think they go back to Monsoon afterward. And so this is what I usually tell players. While you can, play with the damaging abilities, because uh, most people will probably just never use them again. I mean, you can still obviously win with full damage Rex on E8. I've done it, some other people have done it, but it is tough, man. Okay, let's see what we got. Do I want them to bubble? I kinda do. It kinda works well with my rain. If you're gonna eat kind of Umbral, I'll start doing it, but I don't know if that's a thing. I mean, you can. I'd recommend trying to get through the, uh, the normal experience while you can, personally. But hey, up to you, it's your experience. I don't think it's really hard to post skill with Rex, with only 2.5 speed and 2 feathers. I don't remember how much you need for Rex, but you need to make sure you're getting the sprint shifts in there, too. And know when to feather stall and stuff. But though, the map Hermit Crabs, I mean, they only spawn in the Abyssal Depths, and there are no space to follow the map, so that's why I'm asking. You have to loop. Get a Titanic planes on loop, and then throw them out with the cube. I love gas builds. I got harpooned up. Dude, I fucking hate harpoon, man. Why is it so definitively terrible? More gas? I think there's not really that much stuff this stage I'm seeing. Obviously, this is the Vradle up top where we spawn, but... No, this is like a good potential FMP style run. Multi shops, I guess just getting the uh well the wrap wouldn't be too bad, but it's okay. I can't turn down the speed. Uh just a question. Every time I fight Mythics, he says my arms on phase three and most of your YouTube videos does not happen to you, it's because you use mods. I use an alternate Mythrix uh mod. It makes them way harder. And in that mode, he does not have phase four of uh, the item steal. Let's turn on the corner here, actually. Not quite. Hey. Do I want crit or bleed? I'm gonna go bleed. Because I have a crowdfunder in my inventory. Let's see if we can pull something out of this. A shuriken or an ATG would be nice. Uh, okay. <laughs> I have brain ping. Reaction delay. So my brain is old. Ooh, that key early on would have been nice. I wish I did this sooner. I would have pulled the, uh, the key from that since it was so early on. How do you do that? I lost my ban there, which is unfortunate, but I'm not gonna just not take the, uh, headset, so... Without speed, headset actually doesn't feel great to use. The quicker you identify that, like, every time you jump, the better dodge you have, the easier it'll be. You're just like, if you just stand here and jump, you'll dodge, like, 90% of stuff. That's just the, the way the head stompers is designed. Gasoline printer, I kinda want it. Work up headset was, like, the most hated item because it did no damage, and there was no perma to avoid. I mean, yeah, I like this context with everything, right? Like, uh, can't expect people to like something if there's nothing to, uh, not as much to gain from it. And also, like, you know, when the, the game was only Monsoon, there was really no reason to... I don't want to say try, but it didn't really matter. You can just do whatever. It's Monsoon is... whatever. <laughs> you could win with anything. It wasn't really until Eclipse happened that people had to start trying to think outside the box a little bit, use everything to their advantage. I can use by a monsoon and win, so it must be good. Yeah, it's most of the, uh, the opinions. People will argue with you to the end of the earth about, uh, how they won with something once, so it has to be good. And it's like, dude, everything is good. Everything is good enough to win with, that's not what we're talking about. <laughs> Alright, so this guy, uh, Risk of Rain, two weeks ago, I'm a big fan of YouTube content, I just beat the game for my first time earlier today on Eclipse 1 as well. Dude, what a gamer. Straight into the Eclipse climb, baby. Hell yeah, I love it. That's awesome. I love seeing people get into Eclipse. Just jump in, dude. I think Risk of Rain is on sale at the summer sale, by the way, too, right? Now's the time. We'll open a few more of these things over here. I don't see a Scrapper either, man. We're getting screwed. Oh boy. 
50% off base game and 20% off DLC. That's not bad at all, considering how much value I've gotten out of this game. Did I? I spent like 10 bucks on this game and didn't even have to buy the DLC. And I have like four and a half thousand hours. I got my value. If there is like an FMP somewhere, I'll fucking. I'll do the guest for now. I do want to earn enough money here so that I can get the red chest after the teleporter. A reminder every time you start teleporter, you uh, start earning less money per kill, so. If you're gonna farm for legendary chest, might as well do it not in the teleporter. Actually, we have Gore's home, we can just do it, doesn't matter. Although we do have a mountain shrine, so... Oh shit, I didn't know this was here. Eh. Mending Stone Titan. It's actually healing this thing so much I can't kill it. Right now. <laughs> Jesus. If that hits me, I, I die instantly, by the way. Let's uh, grab this real quick. Eh. Not my favorite. Yeah, headset is bad. It sucks. I mean, the other thing is too, like, uh, headset existed when bands were chance-based as well, which made it a little bit more RNG. I think once bands were changed, though, that's... That's when it started. I was just on your heads on Merkby to convince them, and they were still like, this is modded. Unbelievable. <laughs> Honestly, if I if I could go back, I would probably make that video a little bit different. I'd probably make it in a similar way to Disputed Origin, how he made the uh, the drone man empathy core video, and just literally take like headset with a band and a quail. And like literally no other items or something. But it was just that was a run that was just random and it was just a perfect run for it and i was like you know what let's do it this is gonna be a tough fight actually i do believe this to be true remember when pre-nerf breaker you said disable eclipse curse yeah i uh i hated that a lot it was a bug but man i requested a mod be made immediately to fix that bug, and I played without it. A lot of Eclipse players uh, just didn't pick it up at all. It was only the people who were like grinding Eclipse for the first time that were like, "Oh my god, dude, I got the, I got the brain code. I really want the, uh, the afterburner here. Actually, I could still get a band. If I lose mine, I lost mine. It's not the worst. I did like the ice band though. I wish I could use pre-nerf Ben's raincoat. Just play Eclipse 7. Easy. Is that a scrapper I see? Beautiful. We did it. We've given up a lot of greens, actually. But so it's time for a lesson on Rex's ability with shift and afterburn. This ability, for some reason, I, I it might be with all forms of movement like this, but it's definitely with this one. We'll multiply your acceleration when you use it off of the movement speed that you already have so if you use it like this you're getting way more height than if you just space it out right it also has a problem where when abilities are designed they're made so that you can't usually just hold right click or hold like shift and then just have them spam all of the charges but there was nothing in place like that for Rex, so you can click the button and accidentally use two charges, which boosts you way further than you want because it multiplies the uh, acceleration. So it's a little bit dangerous sometimes. Find your definition of 100% of stage slots are really fun. It does sometimes take a while. The, the last thing that I unlocked was the, uh, I mean, despite... Not including DLC stuff, but it was the Aurelia Knight Logbook. Man, that one took me forever. That one just didn't want to drop. Is he gonna use Command for Spam Clover? Yeah, I remember I had... It was like this special run I did where I was like, alright, I'm gonna loop until I get the, uh, the Aurelia Knight Logbook. And I had like 20-something Clovers or whatever, and it took me 70 to 80 stages to get it in one run. I was like, dude... That was like when I realized that I hated looping also. <laughs> that was like three years ago or some shit, I don't know. But it was the last thing I needed.
It was fun every once in a while. Yeah, maybe, but uh, not for me anymore. Never again. Look when you live become unstoppable and feel good until you one shot by flaming brass contraption. Yeah, I don't know. I just I don't like the feeling of uh, playing cookie clicker in risk of rain. That's all. As uh, my card gives you get affected by a quiz modifier. Actually, I have no idea. I've never looked, never paid attention. I don't think it does. I never thought about it. Another scrapper. As far as printers go this age, I don't think we have anything that's like too exciting. We need loop to get stronger to be Mythrix. I used to do that. I was a little bit scared of Mythrix sometimes, or I was a little unsure if I could beat him or not. But when I stopped looping, I started becoming way better of a player. I don't loop ever now, and my wins are very consistent. It's a lot more of a crutch than I think a lot of players realize. A happy mask. Wow. This stage has disappointed me. What is that banner? I gotta look at that. We're gonna have to bet on the soup. Thank you. Nice. That happens, by the way, when you shift a flying asteroid. What was it? That was unfortunate. Swing for that sun. Weird curve at the end. Ew. Isn't headset the same as pre patch brain code? Basically removes Eclipse modifiers. I mean, so do a lot of things. Right? That's not what it's... That's not the problem, though. Removing permanent damage is goes far beyond... Uh, Making it so you don't take fall damage. Plenty of things help with the, the fall damage. Give me a key so I can be happy in real life. That's not bad. I have two reds on this map that I do not want. If they removed uh, permanent damage from Eclipse 8 or something, I would mod it back in. And if that wasn't an option, I'd just never play it again. It is like the core, like fundamental part of it. What do we want? Uh, retry. <laughs> That's what we want. Good. Let's get rid of everything. Oh yeah, I need to get the happy mask. Six right now. Uh, it's probably a bit overboard. It's fine. Just in case, I guess. Get rid of those, get rid of those. Alrighty. Steak. Nice. Uh, Soldier Surrender is not bad. Symbiotic Scorpion, nice. And then we can get bands as well, so. Careful, those guys hit through the floor. Like that. I don't think we're gonna really be able to use, uh... Excuse me. Use Head Stompers too much on Mythrix, unfortunately. Oh! You know what happened? <laughs> it blasted it up in the air where I didn't see it. That is devious. Oh man. I was like, oh, it's dead. It wasn't dead. Man, I should have uh, expected that, I guess. I knew it was gonna push it if it uh, didn't kill it. I just figured it did. How are you gonna shoot from that far away? Well, it targeted me when I was up close, and then it, it retains targeting on you despite how far away you are. Oh. Interesting. Well, that's not something I, I saw coming, but all right. I don't even know if I want it, though. I think we have to use it. It's because it's so rare. Gonna go lose the perfected aspect. 
Saul Faint, dude. We're perma fucking flimping. Dude, this is such a cool fucking setup right now. Good luck. I'm gonna need it. Been a long time since I've gotten an aspect of perfection. Honestly. The amount of slow that I'm doing is incredible. Don't ever do that again. Ugh. sure I'm rotating properly, otherwise I'm just gonna get penta needled. Should have been death. Oh boy. Now it begins. This is gonna be rough. Actually. Land over. There you go.
Good fight, dude. And I didn't realize it till I just started phase four, but I had a speed boost phase four because of the shared design. Oh, baby. That was a good one. There's always, like, there's always some runs that get you, uh, get your adrenaline going. And that one definitely, definitely got me. <laughs> oh, man. Good job.